that says love more. I always get this excitement and this optimism when the seasons start to change, especially from winter to spring. Spring is my absolute favorite season of the year. <laughs> I don't know whose it isn't, but I love spring so, so, so much. It just brings about a lot of hope. And with that hope, I wanted to talk today about manifestation. Now, manifestation and manifesting is something that we hear about so much. A lot of people talk about, I'm manifesting this, I'm manifesting that. It's important that we manifest our dreams. What a lot of people don't understand is that manifestation is a process. It isn't something where you just say what you want and then just go on about your business and hope for the best without putting in any work to actually see it through. The reason why a lot of people are manifesting and not getting what they want is because they're not exactly following the process. I'm gonna lay out my steps and tips on how to manifest. I have six steps that I will go through very quickly. Y'all know your girl is long-winded. First, I just wanna know that this is day one hair, so it's a lot smaller than usual, but it's very defined. You know, we gotta give it, we gotta give a little bit of the hair cam here because I know, I know my people are gonna ask about the hair. So this is a wash and go using my signature products. Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In Conditioner, Aunt Jackie's Flaxseed Gel, and then to refresh it, I like to use the Carol's Daughter, um, I think it's like seven oil, or hair oil. So that's, that's, that's what's, what's in the hair today, okay? I know y'all gonna ask in the comments, so I just had to let you know. Anyways, let's get into the self-love tips. Now, the first step is to get clear on what exactly it is you want. What it is that, What is it that your heart desires? What would you like to manifest? You have to think long and hard about this one and make sure that it's something that you truly, truly want for yourself, not something that someone else has told you to do, not something that you were influenced or pushed to do, something that deep down inside you would like to achieve. I'm gonna go through this with my own example and how exactly I'm manifesting it. One thing that I'm manifesting this year is that I would like to make $250,000 this year. That's what I want to manifest. Um, I made over 100,000 last year and the year before, and this year the number 250K was on my heart and on my soul. So think about your thing. Let's think about it. Give yourself a minute. Think about what exactly it is that you want. What is it that you desire? What is it that you hope to achieve? Now, step number two, is putting it out into the universe. A lot of times we have these hopes, dreams, ideas, feelings that we don't share. And I'm not saying that you need to go post it on Instagram. I'm not saying that you need to go down the street and tell every person that you see what exactly it is you're trying to manifest. All you gotta do is get it out of your head and out somewhere tangible. So that could be writing it down in your journal. I would like to manifest $250,000 this year. I would like to manifest losing 50 pounds this year. I would like to manifest getting a new job by the end of the year. Whatever it is that you would like, put it out there. Write it down, put it on a sticky note, maybe tell a close friend or confidant, tell a family member, somebody that you really, really trust with this information. Pray to God. That's, you know, that's how I do it too. I like to write it down. I like to write down my manifestations every morning, but I also share them with God. I think it's really important that we get it out of our heads and somewhere else because then that makes it real. That lets us know and it signals to us. It might give you a little anxiety, it might make you a little nervous, but it signals to us that what we want is something real. And so once you put it out into the universe, once you get clear on what you want, then you put it out into the universe. Now you have to get to work. Manifestation takes some work too. So step three is taking action. I know a lot of people are like, I'm gonna manifest this and just leave it up to the universe. But the thing is, we also have to take those steps because we don't wanna lose 
whatever it is that we're trying to get. I don't want to manifest $250,000, but not know how to save, how to make my money work for me along the way and really manage that. If I can't manage $2,000, how am I going to be able to manage $250,000? So taking action is a part of the preparation for when you actually get that. And it brings you closer to being able to get what it is that you want and whatever it is that you desire. If I'm going to manifest $250,000 this year, taking action for me is Figuring out, okay, how much do I need to make every single quarter? Okay, now that I know that amount, what are the brand deals? Do I need to do just brand deals? Do I need to start doing some type of coaching? Do I need to, what is it that can help me to make this money? I can't say I want $250,000 and then not go to work, not create content, not <laughs> figure out different streams of income. Honestly, I wish it would. I really do, but it's not going to come out of thin air. So I have to take necessary steps. I have to make sure that I'm elevating my content, making sure that the things that I create are adding value to the lives of my audience. That way I'm going to get more engagement. I'm going to get more brands to look at my content. And now when they look at my content, they're going to see wow, she's shooting with a great camera. She's really perfected different angles. She really knows how to talk on camera. I'm perfecting all of the things that I have to offer. That way, now I can charge more. So if I was charging one amount last year, now I'm charging a little more because I have this goal in mind, this thing that I would like to manifest and see come to fruition. Now, you don't have to take huge steps, but I think baby steps towards your goal is the best way to take action and really manifest what it is that you want. If your manifestation is that you want a new job, the first plan of action is updating your resume. It's as simple as that. That is a great way to kickstart and signal to the universe, okay, she's serious about that. She has updated her resume. She has put her resume out online. She is looking and applying at different jobs. You're also seeking out different roles in your current workplace. You're trying to make yourself more marketable to new companies that you want to work with. Hmm, maybe your goal is to start your own business. The first plan of action is to start writing that business plan, deciding on how exactly you'd like to execute, what your goals are in that business, what exactly you need to do to kickstart that business. You have to take small steps to get to that bigger picture. Manifestation, I promise you, is a very, very strong practice, but it's gonna take a little bit of work. Number four, I wanted to do this at the beginning, but I was like, you know what? It makes sense to do it after you start taking action, and that is to strengthen your belief system. Now, I could say all day long that I would like to manifest 250K this year. I wanna make 250K. That's my goal, that's what I want. But if I don't believe that deep down inside, it's not gonna happen because I'm not gonna charge what I know I deserve. I'm not gonna increase my rates. I'm not gonna apply for different opportunities because I'm not going to feel that belief deep down inside that I deserve it. You have to work on strengthening your belief system. You have to work on knowing and believing that you deserve whatever it is you're trying to manifest. If you would like that new job, tell yourself every day that you deserve this, that you are worthy of this new job. If you are trying to manifest making enough money to travel the world, tell yourself every single day that you are worthy of going on far off adventures. You deserve to see the world. If you are trying to manifest a man, a relationship, <laughs> tell yourself every single day, I am worthy, I am deserving of love. Open your heart and your mind to the fact that this thing that you want, it's your right to receive it. And when you believe it, you're gonna move in ways that bring you towards what it is. When you know you deserve to be loved and be in a relationship, you're not going to self-sabotage. You're going to go on dates. You're going to be more open to meeting new people. You're going to radiate this more positive and welcoming energy because you know you deserve it. So I want you to practice because it's not something that happens overnight. 
practice strengthening your belief system in yourself because when you believe in yourself anything is possible i believe in my heart of hearts that i deserve 250k this year so what does that mean i'm turning down brand deals that are way less than i know that i am deserving of i am going to aim high i'm going to make sure that my content is so crisp it's so good that only the best of the best wants to work with me and that they are going to come and they're going to pay me in a way that's going to help me to achieve my goal. Believe it, believe it, believe it because everything that you have done has gotten you to this point in your life and prepared you for these things that you're going to experience. So believe in that and you're going to see your plan come to fruition. Now, the next tip that I have for you is to lean into gratitude because we can also manifest and feel we are worthy and deserving of whatever it is that we're trying to achieve, but we can also be sitting around being bitter and, and very negative about what it is that we have. I have to make sure that I'm taking action so I can prepare myself for what it is that I want. If I can't manage $100 in my bank account now, who's going to say that I can manage 250 k You know what I mean? So you have to be grateful for what it is you have now and nurture that. I have to lean into the fact that I am grateful for the audience that I have now, the community that I'm building right now, because if I can't lead this number of people, I can't possibly lead a 100,000 people. I can't possibly have a million followers and be able to keep them if I can't manage the 39,000 followers I have now, or back in the day when I first started, the 3,000 followers that I had. You know what I'm saying? So you have have to be grateful for where you are and also understanding that you need to nurture where it is that you are right now. I want you to lean into gratitude. Think about the fact that yes, I want bigger, I want more, but where I am right now is where I'm supposed to be and where I'm going is where I deserve to be. But right now, I'm gonna make the most of what I have because today and right now is the most important part of my life. Without any today, there's no tomorrow. So make sure that you're grateful for where you are currently. And that gratitude is then gonna help you to keep whatever it is you wanna get. Because if you're not grateful now, you're not gonna be grateful then. Because as soon as you get what you want, you're gonna want more. And you're gonna brush off all the things that you worked so hard to get because you don't feel grateful for what it is that you currently have. My very last tip in manifestation is to be open. Now, this step is honestly the most important. And reason being because what you manifest may not always look exactly the way that you anticipated it to look. What you want may not come in the pretty little package or as simply or as easily as you might think. Maybe you would like to manifest a new job or a new career and you were thinking that you were gonna go this direction, but all of a sudden you get posed with a job opportunity that is completely left field and completely different than where you saw yourself going. But that might actually be your real path. You have to be open to receiving and open to the fact that whatever you want doesn't always look exactly the way that you might have thought that it would. Maybe you are looking for a relationship and maybe you happen to date someone and fall in love with someone who doesn't look or have this job or the background that you anticipated yourself being with. And that's okay. Maybe that person is gonna love you so much more than anyone ever will with their whole heart. So you have to be open to receiving things that may look just a little bit different than you anticipated before. When you open yourself up, I promise you the sky's the limit. Those were my six tips on how exactly to manifest. And I'm telling you, they have worked for me in the past. This is how I manifest. I manifest by deciding on what exactly it is that I want. From there, putting it out into the universe. After that, getting to work. And then after that, I make sure that my belief system is strong. And once I know my belief system is strong, I also lean into gratitude. I am grateful for this life that I have. I am grateful for where I am right now. And I know that I'm gonna get something even better in the future. But for now, I'm okay. And then after that, I'm open. 
I allow the universe, I allow God to do whatever it is that they plan on doing and I'm open to receiving that because I know that it's gonna be exactly what I need. It might not look the way I thought it would, but it's gonna be just right and it's gonna be just on time. I think if you put all of these steps into play, you're gonna see something amazing happen. And you don't need to manifest 20,000 different things. Just try maybe one to three, one to three things. And I promise you, you're gonna see them come to fruition in a beautiful, beautiful way. And not only that, but you're gonna experience a lot of growth in the process. So I'm really excited for you. I don't know about you, but I am very excited for you. Don't be nervous. Don't be anxious. You got this. You deserve it, remember that. So I wanna thank you so much for watching. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or you wanna talk a little bit more about manifestation, I am always in the comments, I am always replying. So I wanna hear from you. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell icon so you know my next video is live. Also, double tap if you like it, just so I can feel happy. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much again for watching. Until next time.